the story of expensive rice. A long time ago, seven years old Chinky and eight year old Gatu lived with their parents in a city. Apart from them, their grandfather also lived with them. Before going to the school every day, their grandfather used to teach them a lesson. We should never bow down in front of whatever that's wrong, so that it may never do wrong with anyone ever. All right, Grandpa, we, we shall should always remember this for sure. Saying this, they both left for the school. After some time, their mother, after finishing all the household work, went near the grandfather and said, Daddy, I have to go to the market now. All right. The shop has so many items. Today I shall purchase grocery from here. Shopkeeper looked at her and said, Come, madam. You are most welcome in my new shop. So tell, what would you like to purchase? Give me 5 kgs of good quality rice. All right. I shall quickly arrange 5 kilograms of good quality rice for you. Take this. After reaching home, when she opened the bag to take out the rice, she was surprised. There are so many pebbles in this rice. It seems like the shopkeeper has given me this by mistake. Thinking this, she picked up the bag and again went to that shop. Mr. Shopkeeper, these rice have so many pebbles in it. No, no. I gave you five kilograms of good quality rice. But your rice has so many small pebbles. I sell rice only. Do not sell pebbles. No idea from where you got these pebbles. She became very upset by his behavior. But she didn't say anything to the shopkeeper and quietly came back to her house. The grandfather noticed that she was upset. Then he asked, What happened, child? That shopkeeper gave me rice full of pebbles and he isn't ready to accept any fault of his. Right then, Gatu and Chinky also came back from school. What happened, grandpa? The grandfather told him everything. After hearing everything, Chinky said, Grandpa, we should teach that shopkeeper a lesson. Yes, Grandpa, you taught us in the morning that we should never bow down before anything that's wrong. I agree with you, my children. But after all, what can we do to teach that person a lesson? I have a brilliant idea. And according to the plan, Grandpa also went to the shop and said, Will you please give me? Five kilograms of good quality rice. The shopkeeper gave him five kgs of rice full of pebbles in a bag. And after some time, Gatu went to the shop. Uncle, give me three kilograms of good quality rice. The shopkeeper handed rice full of pebbles to Gatu also. Gatu picked the bag and went from there. And after some time, Chinky also came to the shop. Uncle, please give me two kgs of good quality rice. Oh no, there are no pebbles left now. Seems I have to give her unmixed rice now. Thinking this, the shopkeeper gave Chinky two kgs of rice in a bag. On opening the bag, Chinky found that there was only rice in it. And on this, she said to the shopkeeper, No, uncle, I need that good quality rice only which you gave to my mother, my brother, and to my grandfather. On hearing this, the shopkeeper surprisingly said, Oh, oh, that rice? But those were mixed with... We know that those rice were mixed with pebbles. Still, you want that only? Yes, uncle. First, you have to tell me that why you want those rice mixed with pebbles. The reason is that my grandfather told me that those pebbles were very expensive. Therefore, in the big market, he will sell those pebbles threefold the price to a big jewelry shop owner. What? Threefold? Yes, uncle, threefold. But those are my pebbles. How can your grandfather do this? But now you've already sold them to us. 
Haven't sold them. By mistake, I gave them along with the rice. Therefore, they are mine. But... No if and but now. The amount of rice which I gave to your grandfather, mother and brother sums up to about 23 kilograms. In return, I will give 30 kilograms of good rice to you. All right. If you're insisting so much, then we'll return your rice mixed with pebbles. Hey, grandfather, take them. Your 30 kilograms of good quality rice. Now please return my expensive rice mixed with pebbles to me. All right. The shopkeeper picked up the bag filled with rice and pebbles and he left from there. He took the bag and straight away went to the jewelry shop in the market. Hello sir, take this. I have come up with a bag full of expensive pebbles for you. Now please quickly hand over my money to me. On opening the bag, the jeweler laughed loudly. <laughs> Expensive stones. These are very ordinary stones. For them I shall not give you even a single penny. <laughs> On hearing this, the shopkeeper became very upset. He understood that just like he used to fool others, today he has been fooled himself. And then he decided that... From now on I will never fool anyone ever. So children... With this story, we learn that if someone cheats us, then we shall surely teach him a lesson so that he will never cheat anybody else.